13-10 with five minutes to go. They're down by three. Suing drive the Panthers third and eight. Burline, Anthony Johnson, Derek Brooks, shift him to the football. One, two, three bucks, fall on the ball. It's Tampa Bay. No, it's not. It's Carolina ball. Are you kidding? Yeah, Anthony Parker on this ball. Moose and Muhammad is going to come in and get it for the Panthers. Now, Dom Capers wanted this to be called possession and then a fumble recovery. Would have given them a first down. The referees didn't see it that way. Not many have done against the Vikings this year. They were good here, Tom. Yeah, Cunningham hit as he throws by Alshamon Singleton right there, and Derek Brooks makes a good play on the ball to get an INT. Then you're going to see Cunningham again go back to, to throw. Rondé Barber going to get the hit, and Brooks going to come and wrap him up. So the punt, first punt of the game. On fourth and eight, 13 to 10, Tampa Bay. After conferring with offensive coordinator Gary Kubiak, Greasy, Shannon Sharp, but drill. Eight yards. McNown, though is flushed out of the pocket in a 6 nothing game in the third quarter. He's picked up by ESPN's Derek Brooks. Nice enough to join us here in the studio last week. And McNown benched after this, replaced by Jim Miller because seven drives, seven punt. It sets up a field goal to make it 6-3. to three. And later in the fourth quarter, Bears driving Ryan Wet night. Good night as Brooks drills it, but he holds onto the pass for Miller. Replay shows Wet night Did he not have control of the ball? Well, he, so he doesn't make it. At any rate, three plays later, it's not going to matter because Derek Brooks, who was immense all game, makes the interception. He had two picks. He had ten tackles. And the Buccaneers, 14-7 the Bucs. Who says he's inexperienced? Third quarter, it's 14-10 Tampa Bay. Kevin Fall catches the pass from Bledsoe. Derek Brooks, the hit. John Lynch, the recovery. Two pro bowlers. Stephen Davis stopped by Derek Brooks short of... Score 21, 10 second quarter. You saw Warren Sapp. This is Derek Brooks making the big play. The two biggest players on the defense, along with Lynch, make the play. Touchdown, Brooks. 28 10, Tampa Bay. After the hit by 53, Shelton Quarrel. Key to this play is everybody on the same page. Brooks knows the blitz is coming. He knows that he can keep that tight coverage at the line of scrimmage. Ball thrown up for grabs. Pressure on Cole Pepper. Easy score for Derek Brooks. to Cavill, but he's tackled at the 25. That's a couple of yards shy of the first down. Derek Brooks, number 55 for the Buccaneers, leads the team in tackles out of Florida State. And what Buffalo needed to do offensively was just get a couple first downs because they are losing the battle of field position right now. For a two-yard loss, second and 12. Johnson just does get it away. Peerless Price tackled immediately by Derek Brooks in 35 yards. And there's the hit in the backfield again. This time Bryson met by Brooks. No chance for Sean Bryson. Well, that's Monty Kiffin's call, the defensive coordinator for Tampa Bay, calling the run blitz on first down. And that is, <laughs> that, talk about no chance whatsoever. That, that's a linebacker's dream. You get dialed right into the hole, no lead blocker. And that's just like the first day of training camp. But he's back in field goal range, third and nine. Good protection. Underneath the peerless price. But can he get, he fumbles the ball. And Tampa Bay has recovered. And here comes Brian Kelly, finally tackled by John Cena. This is just an extra effort on his part, doing everything he can do to get there. Is that Shelton Quarles? Plus the missed opportunity at the end of the half. Fearless Price trying to make amends, but as he gave ground, he was tackled immediately by Brooks and Barber. Johnson winds up and then winds down Derek Brooks for the fumble, and it goes to Sean Bryson. Bryson actually got a shovel pass. And Rob Johnson didn't see it. He is down on his face at the 30-yard line. Rob Johnson is hurt. But what a job he did of getting rid of the football before he's planted by Derrick Brooks. All-out blitz here. Derrick Brooks has and throws him into the ground. Gerbach. Intercepted, threw it right into the hands of Derek Brooks. And Brooks is inside the 20, inside the 10, and Brooks is out of bounds at the 1. Derbeck 
just doesn't look good right now. Watch Brooks leg it out here. I'm almost wondering if this is worth a challenge. Probably not, but I'm sure that Derek would like to think he got in the... Trying to limit Baltimore to a field goal attempt. It's second down and goal from the two. And here's Allen. He gets to the one-yard line. Watch number 55 here. Reads the lead block of Sam Gash. Defeats it, loses his helmet. Still sticks his head in there to make the tackle on Terry Allen. That's why the guy's been in the Pro Bowl four times. Fourth down and ten from the 26-yard line. Fairback throwing. Caught, but well short of the first down by Kadre Ishmael. Derek Brooks made the stop. But the throw is behind his smile. He has to make a tough catch, and then he has to defeat one of the best linebackers in the game. And pick by Derek Brooks, represent B. Brooks, the former National High School Defensive Player of the Year, high school class valedictorian. The Bucks 25 points without an offensive touchdown, the most in the league since the Vikings put up 26 on the Saints in 1970. Do so many things, and that was the thing that gave them all the flexibility on offense. We'll drop off underneath, fall, and he gets taken down in the open field by Derek Brooks. That you, they really never let the defense get set. From the 47-yard line, Falk, and he gets upended. Can't get out of the backfield, and that's Derek Brooks, Pro Bowl linebacker. The strength of this defense is right here, right in this middle. And they're always going to have someone that's going to penetrate. So when you get penetration, that means that you, know, you, have, you have no cutback. You always have to stay play side. Hey, Derek Brooks got penetration that time right through Tom Newton, didn't he? Front and back and on both sides. Second and ten. Lynch with a near pick. And then another near pick by Derek Brooks, who ran one back 97 yards for a touchdown last week in Baltimore. I tell you, Kurt Warner is a is a, is a heck of a quarterback, and he, and he's very accurate, but he has to be in a rhythm, and the and the Bucks haven't let him get in a rhythm. And what they've done with well, there's a lot of here's a four man rush, but they've done it with a lot of three man rush and just dropping, and he's throwing the ball from the 34 yard line. Warner throws intercepted, and this is going to wrap it up. It is Brooks two weeks in a row. An interception for a touchdown. What a gutsy play. He has a pulled hamstring. You see him grab the hamstring? He's just going to come right back here, and he's just watching him, watching him, watching him. He sees that ball, and look at the jump that he gets. And right towards the end there, he's going to grab his left hamstring. Watch just as he starts to go in. In the backfield, from the 47-yard line, off the fake to Dunn. Vic complete to the tight end Reggie Kelly in Buccaneer territory. Fitter in motion. Warren Dunn up the middle against his former teammates for a gain of four. And here in Atlanta, the Falcons looking to come back. They trail by seven. Johnson hit. Intercepted by Sapp. The lateral to Brooks. And the Tampa Bay defense has scored for the fourth consecutive game. The pressure came from Anthony McFarland initially and then Doug Johnson just got a taste of that Tampa Bay defense the way Michael Vick did all game. Watch McFarland. He comes right through Travis Claridge. Johnson steps up and then it spires and Rice smashing him. Warren Sapp with the interception and the lateral to Derek Brooks for the Tampa. It limited him somewhat. But with Brad Johnson as the quarterback for Tampa Bay, if you make one mistake, and the Falcons did, well, left. let's see, was it intercepted in the end zone by Brooks? He's on the bottom of the pile, and he has the football. The fourth Tampa Bay interception on the final play of the game. Late first, same score. Simeon Rice from behind. Swats it loose to Donovan McNabb. Derek Brooks, his fourth touchdown, tying an NFL record.
Now looking at the buck team. Nailed as he throws. And here in Tampa Bay, a healthy Derek Brooks. Well, you talk about Philly's offense looking a little shaky. They're going to look shaky if you allow Derek Brooks to come clean like that. Comes right up the middle. In the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last loss for Vic was on October 6th. At home, he was knocked out of the game by this defense. They came at him a lot of different ways. Here, Derek Brooks is going to be the guy chasing him down. Look at him come up on the outside. He waited to give Simeon Rice the support. Simeon fought his way back, and then pursuit angles that were taken were great. Derek Brooks here in a spy position. He sees the shallow cross, but he stays with his eyes right on Michael Vick. Brooks back in. Well, he was named Defensive Player of the Year, partly because he turned defense into instant offense for the Bucks. Came the first linebacker in history who turned three interceptions for touchdowns. He also tallied on a fumble return, and his pick and score against the Raiders helped set the tone in Tampa's Super win just a week ago. This is the amazing thing. 7 nothing. the Saints. Fourth and one, third quarter. You know, they, they run for it. They're running early. Tom, it was a gamble that could have backfired. Absolutely. You just want to control the football game. Forces the fumble, the Saints recover, Tom. Yeah, and watch D. Brooks, no linebacker ever been any better at finding the football and having a great set of hands than Derrick. Rolled an incomplete pass now out of the shotgun on third down and eight. Vitt has the football stripped by Derrick Brooks. The Buccaneers have recovered. Veteran out of Stanford. Vitt pump fake. And now gets rid of it. And Derek Brooks right there. The tackle Justin Griffith, gain of only one. Griffith the fullback. Vic to throw. It is broken up by Derek Brooks. Ask more about this last night. He in fact did confirm that he was contacted, both he and his dad by the school about a job. He says he's not taking it. He's staying here in Atlanta, but all week they did try and contact him. Have come from behind to tie it at 27. Cadillac with 116 yards rushing. Bumbo! Derek Brooks gets credit with causing it, but it hits uh, more. Tampa Bay offense. Brunel drops it to Royal. And he is flipped by a guy who's pretty good, Derek Brooks. Green back Brooks. Loss of three. Eleventh play of this drive. Brunel over the middle. Wide open. The catch made by Beck, but he is short of a first down. You're going to see the job that he does. As soon as he recognizes that it's a screen, he immediately comes up and makes the play. He just usually has and they stifled him 11 carries minus five yards today boom just saying was working a little better than new orleans uh, reggie bush gets the handoff here and merrill Derek brooks just lays into him this is not what you want to be no. going to turn sideways when Derek brooks has a meat on your shoulder he will pop that's a legitimate rise and blow and running through the runner by the way, even though they recovered, the fumble Saints would not score on that drive. Next Saints possession, a Reggie Bush over the middle. And again, Coach, Derek is right there. Well, uh, you know, you only got one football, and I think. And then Derek Brooks, they say he's old. Well, he's still pretty good. Mm. That's a form tackle, is it not? Look at him dip his shoulder, get underneath the running back, lift him up. Not kick the field goal to go down by six. Clinton Portis and the veteran Derek Brooks, who had a bunch of tackles on this day, makes a well, stop. Brooks, he's still playing very well. You see him stuff the hole right there, but a curious call because you could have turned this. One, Clinton Portis, he's been good except for, well, except for that hit by Derek Brooks. Is Derek Brooks still great or what? Unbelievable play. The guy is unreal. Look at him breeding. He got a half a yard. I don't care. Red got a yard, half a yard. I don't, I, I'm sorry. The guy's standing seven yards deep. Give it to the quarterback and let him do it. Generally known as one of the better blitzing corners in the league. Leaves his feet right there. That's a no-no. Allows Gus to undercut it. And then watch Brooks. Maybe gets there just a hair early. But watch his left arm as he pulls down Adrian Peterson's left arm and then knocks the ball out with his right arm. Peterson's right hand. Peterson oh. got up. He wanted a flag. Now listen, Derek Brooks has not missed a game since his rookie year, okay? He was not 100% and case in point here trying to chase down LaDainian Tomlinson. You, you, you admire the effort, but he's just not right. No, and he's one of the great right. players we've had in this league.